Hey everybody, Cody here from Protocase, back with another Proto Tech Tip. And this week we're going to talk a little bit about the process of inserting self-clinching fasteners into a sheet metal pair. So, self-clinching fasteners are a huge part of your design. They allow you to install permanently fixed fasteners in almost any location of your part. Sometimes they're called PEM brand self-clinching fasteners, which is a trademark of PEN engineering and manufacturing. So these self-clinching fasteners can assist with mounting components, mounting other parts, cable management, and many other applications for your design. For maximum compatibility with your designs, they come in a variety of materials such as zinc plated, stainless steel, aluminum, and more. So we use what is called a PEM serter to install our fasteners, which is essentially a fixed press that has a punch and an anvil. The pressure exerted by this machine causes these fasteners to self-clinch in the sheet metal as long as they are within the manufacturer's specs. Sheet thickness, hole size, and material compatibility all have a role to play here. Sometimes inserting PEMs can be difficult and relies on a series of bending and PEMing sequences in order to make them fit. I'm going to go through some examples now just to give you a better idea of what you need to think about when placing PEMs in your design to ensure that they are accessible. One example is a flat panel. Since there are no bends or any protruding geometry anywhere on the part, the entire panel is accessible for the PEM serter. The only requirement that may cause issues here is related to the throat of the PEM serter. The throat is only 18 inches long, and if you have any fastener that is over 18 inches away from the edge, the PEM serter will not be able to reach. Another example is an L bracket. You can see here that the PEM is placed far enough away from the bend that there is no issue installing it using the PEM serter. Placing self-clinching fasteners directly next to a pen can be tricky, depending on the style of PEM, but we do have some solutions around it. This can involve either notching the bend or sectioning our bend tooling around the PEM if we can go ahead and install the PEM first prior to bending. This one here is a five-sided box base. The majority of these case styles come with self-clinching fasteners underneath the mounting flange. On first glance, you may wonder how are we able to access these if they are underneath a flange. In order to do these properly though, we must actually first only bend the small flanges, then proceed to install the PEMs, then finish bending up the sides. This is one of the bend PEM sequences that I mentioned earlier. There are countless examples I could go over, but what I really want you guys to think about when placing fasteners in your design is accessibility. We can bend and place fasteners in any sequence that we want in order to successfully install those fasteners but there may be rare instances where we just physically cannot access the PEMs to install. In this case, sometimes threaded holes can be used in place of a nut, or a screw-nut combo can be used in place of a stud. In the end, we're going to make your design vision a reality. If you've got a design you want manufactured quickly with awesome customer service, contact us. You'll be connected with your Protocase account manager who will be there for you every step of the way. So guys, thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip, and we'll see you back here again next week.